So again, I'm going to take my scalpel and I'm going to cut right against the bill. in here to soak up some of the blood and you want to be very careful when you peel it back behind the eye area that you don't tear anything okay as you can see I pulled the skin back over the, the eye on this side now, once you get past the eye area, you'll come to the ear canal, and that's simply a matter of inserting the scalpel and disconnecting the skin that's attached to the ear area, and of course, again, using your thumb to pull that area out, just like that. You see I've removed the where the skin goes into the ear canal area. Okay, now you can see I've taken the complete skin off both sides of the skull. And again, we've left this little feathering that goes over the crow bill. We're not even going to use that. Now, what I can do is I can put a little borax on there, give me a little grip, and we're going to pull the complete neck that we left in there right through the same hole. Okay, what we have here is our materials we're going to use to paint the Toko Tukro up. And as you can see on the table here, I have some photographs of some toucans, and we're going to try to replicate this as close as possible. Now, you could line up 20 Toko toucans, and you'll see variances in the bills uh, a little bit. But uh, basically, they do have some of the, the same color, color characteristics uh, throughout the species that we're going to try to achieve. Now, what I'm When you hold it at an angle like that, it really blends the color and fogs it in so you don't have a direct hard line leading from one color to another color. And by holding it close to the edge, I'm going to get a lot darker line and a lot cleaner look than if I held it away from the surface. Crow body, which actually was a converted uh, cockatoo body, and we've got the buffalo head neck, which fits perfectly for the for the toucan. So we're going to go ahead and insert this into the neck. So you can see that butts up very nicely there, and I just come back and I curl this right back into the body. some heavier pliers that allow me to spank that right down inside there. The first thing I attach is the legs. Wire here. You see these markings on the 
mannequin dictate where you want to put the legs. So I'll go right through the leg hole. Now this is a very lightweight mount, so I don't have to go through the body twice like a heavy body bird would. I'm going to go right into the mannequin. Extends out the other side, then I come back with a needle nose, and I'm just going to simply invert this back. Into the mannequin. And now we're going to insert the wing wires. Now the wing wires, as you can see, there's a location on the mannequin for the wing. the wire into the hole. And we're working in a pretty close, pretty tight little area here. And the wing will come out through the chest area. Okay, here's what we have so far. We've got our two crow all wired up. As you're going to notice, the ear hole of the natural crow is right there. And we're going to make an incision right through the eye skin to open up that area and give us a little more versatility when we glue around the cheek piece. So I'm going to take a scalpel blade, put it right inside the eye hole, cut straight through. Okay, so that's going to open that up and allow, it, allow the skin to go over the top of the area that we want to cover here. And I've got, if you can see, if you can see where I kind of pull the, his top toupee head to speak over, it's obviously wider than the cheek piece, but that's okay because I'm going to glue that edge right to the edge of the bill there, and then I'll come back and I'll feel the edge and I will cut along the edge of the cheek piece. I'm going to take my tool and just press the skin down into the groove and just hold it there for a couple of seconds. Okay, and now I'm going to take my Zappy Gap. I'm going to put my glue Now I'm going to bring this little piece of skin up around the jaw. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of zappa gap right along the jaw line. And I'm going to pull it over and butt this up right to the edge. Now we need to come back and we need to trim around the cheek area. And I need to do that from the revert from the from the back side. So what I'm doing, I'm feeling with my finger, I can feel the whole cheek piece, the crease of the cheek piece. So I'm just going to come back with my knife. Just using the pattern of the cheek, and I'm going to bump the skin right next to it, and we just continue working around the cheek piece. Until you've glued, uh, glued all the way back down to the cheek area, and then we'll continue that on to the other side.